then hey guys what's up it's me Priscilla now I was going to go ahead and talk to you about what materials can you use in Inktober basically anything that's ink but I'm going to show you some of those materials that I am going to use in Inktober my favorite things to use for Inktober first let's talk about paper well this is my illo sketchbook and this is not the sketchbook I'm going to be using for Inktober but as you can see I've done a couple ink drawings in it already so I've got spider-man and I've got really heavy-duty ink drawings such as this so you can see this doesn't bleed through to the other side. The only thing that's bleeding through to the other side are the Copic markers that I used on this sketch. So this is an amazing, amazing kind of sketchbook to have. It holds all of the ink watercolor really well. I thought I had 31 pages in this. Turns out I don't. I only have 10 pages left in it. So I had to hurry up and order a brand new Illo before Inktober. Another type of paper that will be your best friend is a Strathmore Bristol board. Now the thing about the Strathmore Bristol board is that it can hold really heavy duty kinds of ink and heavy mediums. You can put acrylic on this and it will not bend at all. The liners that I'm going to be using are my Micron liners. I love these. These will be what I'm going to line everything with. So I have a 1 and a 03 and then I have a 01 but I can't find it. So these are going to be my number one things that I use to line all of my drawings and to accent any definition or details. This is going to be my best friend. So this is a brush tip pin and for the brush tip pin sketches that I use, I will be using this brush tip pin. This is a Copic Gas and Food Nylon Brush. These are my number one best friends. These are water brush, water brushes that you can put in as much ink as you want and you can put any color you want in. I can wash it out and put in a new color and these are going to be my best friends when I'm out and about. A couple of ballpoint pens, I might use them, not sure yet. I will be a huge fan of this because this counts as ink. It is an ink jelly roll white gel pen so this will all be used for all my highlights that I want to have thrown in. You are allowed to sketch your drawings. You are completely allowed. So other than using a regular number two pencil or mechanical pencil, I will be using my call erase pencils. These are Prismacolor call erase pencils to sketch my drawings out and then ink them. So here is one thing that most artists don't consider that they can use during Inktober. You can use these bad boys right here. You are allowed to use alcohol-based markers because they count as ink. Mm. Now the number one thing I'm going to be using during Inktober are these beautiful, gorgeous little inks. These are by Winsor & Newton. So you see I have a blue, orange, Indian black, nut brown, scarlet, canary yellow, violet, and emerald. And I have a color swatch of all of those right here. So this is canary yellow. This is the red, brown, black, green, blue, and orange. So these are all the color swatches from that. And I did my very first drawing using these. Alrighty, so I thought I'd go ahead and jump into a time lapse to show you how I would use these different colors of inks. Now, the kind of look I'm going for is minimal color, but still an ink kind of feel to it. So you can see with Jack, I'm going to do, of course, an overall ink look to him where he's just black and white. So it's more of a monochrome thing, but that's what, I, that's what I'm going for. It's going to be hints of color here and there. So that's why I bought these Winsor & Newton's colors, just because I wanted to use a little bit more color with my ink. Now, if I have the, if I want to have the option to do a full ink color piece for Inktober this year, then I have all my basic colors to go ahead and achieve what I want to do with a full color piece. Now, these are basically all of the materials that I've showed you for Inktober that is acceptable towards Inktober. Please leave in the comments down below which inking tools you're going to use or if I didn't mention an inking tool that you guys are know of and that you're going to use. I always love looking at different ink materials to use during Inktober. 
but you guys don't have to use all these inking supplies. I hope you know that. I hope you just know that you can just pick one thing. If you're just going to focus on your lining or if you want to work on cross hatching, then you can work on that. And that's all you really have to do with Inktober. Sketch it out, then line it, add a little bit of blotches of dark inking patches here and there, and you're done. That's as easy as it is. So you don't need all of these supplies I just showed you. These are just supplies that I've used in the past and what I'm going to use for my future inking pieces. And yeah, I, I hope to show you every single day on here. That's why I say go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you can see every single piece that I make for Inktober this year and how I approach it. So throughout the month, if you see a way that I'm painting or making something with an ink material, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I want to try that. So you can always go out, buy inky materials. You just don't have to have what all the supplies at the beginning of Inktober. These are just ideas for you guys, and I hope that it's helpful and that I, I hope you try some of these different techniques I'm going to use. I think I'm just going to mostly stick to my Winsor & Newton inks that I showed you guys that I'm using right now for Jack and Sally. And yeah, I hope you guys really give Inktober a try. It's going to be so much fun. Another thing I'm going to use, and I did not clean it out from the last time, is a palette, a plastic palette. It's pretty simple. I also have a petal palette that's over there. So taking a closer look, you can see they look like little itty bitty potion bottles. It can be a little bit messy, and we got ink bubbles. You see looking inside, and we got all this pitch black ink. Then as for applying all of these wonderful inks, I'm just gonna be using some regular nylon brushes. Go. There are the materials you can use for Inktober. Honestly, if it's ink, you're allowed to use it. So I have a seven tips for Inktober video and it's just there to help you and to get you going and help you just a little bit. So make sure you go and check that out. I'll put it down below as well as right here and I'm gonna put the link to Jake Parker's website to explain where he started with Inktober and give you a little bit more background information about Inktober. Hope you guys go check that out and I hope you all participate with me in Inktober. I will see you all later. Happy Inktober!